morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Dustin. I am a subject matter expert in the systems management space. Today, I will be going over adding a custom certificate to Open Managed Server Administrator. First, you will need a certificate authority for signing the certificate request, and I will use my local Windows certificate authority. Second, you will need the certificate signing request from OMSA. So let's go ahead and go through the process. First, we're going to go to Preferences and Open Managed Server Administrator Web GUI. We will choose General Settings and then the certificate. So first thing we'll have to do is generate the new certificate itself so that we can have our request. So we'll call it server 2000, we'll call it a server, let's call it OMSA serve. We'll keep all of this the same. We'll do it 365 days. Our common name will be our DNS name. And then we're going to say Dell, this man, Round Rock, Texas. So we'll go ahead and generate this. It's going to delete the current certificate and it's going to create that one. We'll let the web server restart. Quit the browser. We'll give it just a moment so that it can actually fully restart. And now that that's restarted, we go back in. We're going to go to the same place. Preferences, General Settings, X509 Certificate. So now that that certificate is in there, we want to choose Certificate Maintenance. And then we want to do Certificate Signing Request. And as we can see, it has the alias from what I called it earlier. So it is that, that info. So once we do this, it's going to actually export this request at C program files, Dell, sysmanagement, Apache, Tomcat, temp, OMSA cert. So let's go ahead and go to that location and we can see it right here. So we're just gonna open it with notepad. So it says I don't have the permissions. So what we're gonna do is to notepad and we're going to run it as administrator so that we have permissions. And then we will open that file location. So C, Program Files, Dell, Sysmanagement, Apache Tomcat, Temp. We want all documents. There's our certificate request. And here we go. So from here, we actually want to copy everything, including the begin and end. Now that I have that copied, going to go to my certificate authority. So from here, my certificate authority has a cert service here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to request a certificate. And from here, we're going to do an advanced certificate request. And then we're going to say, uh, we're going to use a base 64 encoded. So from here, we're actually going to copy paste our certificate request. We are going to choose web server. If you don't see web server on your dropdown, you'll need to talk to your, the person who runs your certificate authority and get it added as a template. We don't have any additional attributes we need, so that should be it. Let's go ahead and submit. So, all right, the website, yeah, yeah, that is fine. We want base 64 encoded, and let's download the certificate. And then we'll just put this on the desktop for now. And I'm also going to download the chain as well so that we have everything we could possibly need. Okay, so now that we have those, let's go ahead and copy those over to my other location. So now it's time to go back to the beginning and we are going to import a certificate chain. We're going to browse and we want the chain this time. So as we can see, that was successfully imported the chain. So let's go ahead and activate the new certificate. 
we're going to restart to activate your circuit. And we'll go ahead and quit browser. And something you'll notice, we still have our certificate warning. Let's try to put the actual entire FQDN. And as we notice, we don't have a certificate error anymore. No more certificate error. The certificate is trusted because we have the correct common name. Obviously, we could edit that common name to not have the FQDN if you'd like. Um, it really is all up to the preferences of the user. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video on certificate generation in Open Managed Server Administrator. Thank you and have a great day.